Welcome to this video. In this video, I want to talk about default values in SAP Fiori, how you can set them up, how they are valuable for your usage within SAP Fiori, and how you can check out if an SAP Fiori app supports default values. So enjoy this video and let's get started. So first of all, I think the most important question is how can you set up default values within SAP SAP Fiori. And because if you are in the SAP Fiori launchpad, then in the top right, there you can open up the me area and then you can select settings. Then under default values, there you can easily set up default values. So basically here, the default values are categorized into different topics. So, for example, my case, general, financial accounting, controlling, and so on. And you can simply set up default values if you just maybe manually type in your value. So, for example, the currency euro, or uh, you can you can always change it back. And if you want, you can also use the for help here as well. So simply in the right area of the input field, click on this button or hit the F4 key on your keyboard. And base, basically here within the search help, you can also select your needed value. So um, within here, within the additional values button, there you can define a range. So for example, if you would like to set up a range, uh, extended uh, default values, then you can also set up ranges in here, multiple selections as we know it from the SAP GUI. And basically then if you are, uh, if you made any changes, so for example, uh, to Euro, uh, then you can see on the saved values title that with then here you have an asterisk, a star, um, that shows you that you've made any changes. So therefore you can simply click on the save button and then you've made any changes. Uh, you can simply um, change it backwards again. Just simply open up the default values, change it back, click on the save button and then your values, your default values are saved. If we move to the SAP GUI for a second, and uh, you have to be a little bit careful because within the GUI setting, um, with SAP GUI, you can also open up the parameters, the set get parameters with the transaction code SU3 or on the system user profile and user data. Then within uh, the top parameters, within here, you can set up default values as well. Um, between SAP Fiori and SAP GUI or the param set get parameters, there is a synchronization, but SAP recommends to use the default values within SAP Fiori. Uh, so for example, um, yeah, just simply once again open up the default values and change it within here and then they are synchronized in the SAP GUI in the backend, um, but you should rather use SAP Fiori instead of SAP GUI. And then within here you have a drop down. Now it's called uh, saved values. If you click on the drop down, then basically within here you have the ability to uh, to save different views. So for example, we're doing this right now. We change it to euros. Then we go on here. Then we click on save as. And then for example, yeah, um, few euro doesn't matter. Here it's important to know that you have a setting a checkbox called public. If you leave this checkbox unchecked, then basically your view is just available for the creator, in this case for you. If you set it to public, then everybody in your SAP system can see the view and can call it as well. So for example, now I set it to public, click on save. Now 
uh, you see your created few few euros and under manage there you have the ability to have a look to all your created views and basically um, here we have our created few a few euros if you want to with this cross you can delete a few once again and here directly you see if it is public or if it is private just for you and um, what does this uh, start the beginning mean here you can set up a few as a favorite so basically if you uh, you uncheck this and save it then you can't access your view within a drop down um, so therefore you have to uh, yeah click the star once again and then it is once again uh, ready to be accessed and for example if you would like to make any changes to an existing view then let's just select your view and then you have to make your changes so for example for the currency and then it's important that you don't select your uh, the, the save button that you select the save button within the views here so this is really important so then um, you've made the changes and then, for example, if you're calling this once again, then your changes are ready. So, and yeah, basically that's, uh, I think, important to know regarding the views. So, and now I would like to show you because right now we have the default views, um, for example, for the company code 1010. So let's get out of here. And for example, if we are calling one app, so for example, the supplier invoice list, and then within here, you can directly see that this information, so the company code is pre-filled. So basically this is a default value in my case. So, and how can we check, for example, if an SAP Fiori app supports default values? So, therefore, we have to go to the SAP Fiori manager, the app manager. So, therefore, within the SAP GUI, you can simply call the app manager within the transaction code slash UI2 slash FLPAM. Then you open up the SAP Fiori Launchpad Application Manager, so the App Manager, and within here you can find out if an SAP Fiori app supports default values. So within the tab Launchpad App Described Scripted Items, therefore you have to enter your app ID of uh, your SAP Fiori app. By the way, if you want to get to know how you can easily find the app ID of an SAP Fiori app, I have described and explained this in an own video. I will link this here to you. And within the input field SAP Fiori ID, you can enter your ID. So in this case for the supply invoice list app, you have to enter F1060A, then hit the enter key. And here we can see the item. Then basically, yeah, you, you go into you click this item so and then basically okay i don't want to make any changes uh, then within the parameters tab here you can find out if your app defaults a, a supports a default values and what kind of value so in this case this app supports the company code and you can see this within here under defaults value if it supports so in this case it supports the user default extended version of the company code and this is the additional values button what i showed you a couple of seconds ago so the ranges if there would be just user default dot company code for example then ranges are not supported and just one single value yeah and uh, here i've explained to you the most important steps for the uh, default values uh, default values unfortunately um, yeah can't be transported they have to be set up in every sap system um, yeah but if you have any questions left put them in the comment section please like this video and please subscribe to this youtube channel to support my work and to never miss great upcoming videos thank you so much and then see you in the next video